Genshin has been out for almost two years. Rerolling is still a scene though. Nothing really changes from patch to patch in that regard except for the addition of new characters and the way you're doing runs. I did this huge inquiry containing 150 reroll attempts during three different patches from 2.7 to 3.0, including the last one, because the question is it worthwhile to reroll in 2022 remains open. By the end of this video, you'll get an answer to that. Hi, I'm Oberon, I just finished these reroll runs. Most of them I did live on my Twitch channel, so make sure to check it out. In this video, you'll get a complete view of rerolls. Based on my experience, I'll try to answer all related questions and will make it clear for everyone. I will also provide you with the best value for time reroll guide nowadays. Smash the like and subscribe buttons and join the action. Some parts of this video may not be in the best quality, since those are votes from Twitch and their 720p. Let's go! The first 50 rolls were on 2.7, at this point I haven't had much information about rerolls, I was learning by myself, trying to figure out the most optimal path, I had no idea that it would turn into such an investigation, I was simply obsessed with the idea of getting a new account for myself. Honestly, I didn't consider those runs lucky. Every second time I got a 5 star character from Wishes, it was a cheat sheet for 5 times over these 50 attempts. And I was pretty sure the game was rigged because of her drop rate. However, later I realized that these runs were my luckiest. And the reason is simple, there were two 5 star characters on a single account 3 different times. Chichi and Yolan. Chichi and Kichin and Diluc with Kichin, the last one is the one I'm currently playing on, and that's not even counting the 4 star guys. If you want to see more about these particular roles, you can check the video in the top right corner, and we are moving further. 2.A was released a few weeks later. It was the time when the reroll marathon began. Reroll Marathon or simply RM is an event in which I plan to do 100 more rolls in one month on the specific patch. However, later I decided to take a break and perform the last 30 pulls on 3.0 as well. I didn't reroll much in the first part of 2.8, and I didn't get Kazuha or Klee as in the previous one where I got both event characters Shao and Yelan, but I did most of the runs on the second part and got Yoimiya and also Ningoan, Fischl, Sayo and Noel as my pity for the first 10 wishes on the same account. And for the rest of RM it was the best pull I had, and at this point I have realized that the first 50 rerolls were unbelievably good. I want to mention that I was speedrunning this event with a timer, I was trying to find the optimal road, and the best time for the run was 27.54. Actually, there were two times the same time, 27.54.92 and 27.54.80 on the next run. I don't know what the odds were, but it just happened. Not to mention that beating this time requires lots of conditions to be met, such as the second anime character for the stamina consumption buff. Whoever was on stream saw that. In the last 30 runs in 3.0, I wasn't that lucky and I didn't get any even character. However, I got Jin two times on the same day and that's something cool because 120 rolls before, I hadn't gotten her even once. She's the most rare drop from the beginner's wishes according to my attempts. As I promised here the best reroll guide for this specific patch, but I'm pretty sure that this one will be optimal in the future too, so don't worry, I'm following it and I will try to provide you with the best road on every patch. You can see the link in the video description or in the top right corner of your video player, now let's sum everything up. For 150 rerolls, I've got 26 5 star characters in total, that's equal to approximately 1 character every 6 runs. We'll be always hunting 5 stars as our primary goal, but I wanna say a couple of words about 4 stars too. Shinchu and Bennett. Those are the best sub DPS that you can get from the beginner's banner, they'll make any of your composition shine brighter at the start and at the end game as well, so we definitely want to see them, but they still aren't preferred to 5 stars. Let's dive deeper into the best pulls. 
The account with Dilu, Kitchen, Shinchu, and Bennett is my favorite and the one I'm currently playing on. The second best was with Yelan and Chichi, mostly because of Yelan. Chichi is always rerollable, we don't want to see her as our only 5 star, but since there are two of them, I consider it the second best. By the way, on this one, I get Dilu from the first 10 wishes for the standard banner, and it became even better than mine at some point. Then there was the account with Kitchen and Chichi, both of them are standard characters and yeah, Chichi again. With a single character, there were two good accounts, Yoimiyas with lots of good 4 stars as I mentioned before, and Shaos, not as lucky with 4 stars as the previous one, but still a really decent even character. There were some good tries with just standard 5 star character and good support, such as Diluc with the Steven Barbara, or Mona with Bennett and Shinchu. I consider them good roles. It's just that I've had some better attempts before, and I don't want to talk much about those. I'll leave a subjective tier list of characters that you should aim for, including the best 4 stars. This one is for beginner's wishes, because any event's 5 star will be about the list. I've made these tables with the characters I've got, starting with 50 rolls in 2.7, 70 rolls in 2.8, and 30 for 3.0, and also the big one for all those 150 runs. As you can see, Kitchen almost caught up with Chichi by the end of my investigation, and that's an answer to my first question that I had when I was starting out the RM. The game isn't really rigged with a drop rate for any character, the game is just a casino in itself. However, there is one last question that I owe you an answer to, and we are moving to that final part. Is it worth rolling nowadays? Yes, it is. If you're a new player and you have the patience to do that, go for it, because later even one 5 star character could change a lot, especially if you are free to play, it is a must for free to play. Or even if you are not a new player but rerolling could bring some fun and make you enjoy the game, because for example you don't like your current account, then you should go for it too, in any case the final decision is on you. I did these rerolls and I'm sharing them with you, so you can look at them and decide to go through all of this or not. You have to remember that it requires lots of patience and sometimes RNG can be cruel, but if you are able to overcome it, you'll be rewarded in the end. I hope I made it clear to you. Anyways, if you have any remaining questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. And don't forget to thumbs up this video. I want to make an announcement too, there will be a cool event soon that I'm going to do on a weekly basis. I believe it's something wicked and crazy. This is going to be absolutely epic and if you don't want to miss out on this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Later!